Kathleen Doyle at the top. She's averaging over nine assists per game in conference play. Of course, Iowa in the white. <laughs> uh, earlier on, I said, hey, there, both these teams are black and gold. I was corrected. Iowa's not black and gold. They're black and yellow, so that we're clear. <laughs> Keys from the elbow. A little bit too much. She might as well have stayed back where she was. Doyle pushing the tempo from the lane. No good. And the Hawkeyes have started a bit quiet, but another offensive rebound. Gustafson again. Oh, yeah. the foul. Yeah, then now you're just still early. You're getting a chance to see what makes her so good. Gustafson very, very strong. She knows exactly how to get the round thing and the brown thing. Slow start in her last game, not today. No, and, and one of the things that makes her dynamic is, honestly, she to anyone you've talked to, it's always about her work ethic. It's always about you know her grit and how she'll get into the gym, and she just wants to be the best she can be for her team. Very unselfish player, uh, very gentle player, um, off the court. On the court, I would say she is one tough cookie. That's the 12th <laughs> free throw in a row she's made now. Versa wants to get going offensively. Notice how every time they get the ball in the paint, there's not two, but three black jerseys that will surround Megan Gustafson. Passes out of that Good double job. team, and Stewart with the finish. That's a great look. That's exactly what Gustafson has become very, very good at. Assists in the nation this year. And Gustafson on the defensive end, getting her hand to the passing lane again. Gustafson <laughs> demonstrated she's got some point handles as well. <laughs> now back in the post. <laughs> oh, what an off battle she, finish. Yeah, she wasn't even ready for it, but she's like, fine, you throw it, I'll shoot it. I got you. Starting to feel it now. Oh, yeah. Team's leading scorer. When she heats up, they are in really, really good shape. She's got seven. Gustafson and Keys leading the way on each side. We're tied again at 11. Gustafson, a tough catch, finish of the foul. Honestly, her finish, I mean, she's up, put it this way, if they throw it in there 10 times, seven of those, she's going to score. That's pretty much where she's at. Very efficient, most efficient in conference. Look at this, she seals. It's just, it's, it's all about if I touch it, I can score it. Purdue sent over help side from the weak block, but not fast enough. If you want to get there on Megan Gustafson, my thought is first and foremost, don't let her get it. And if she does get it, then suddenly the entire team needs to be on her back. She is already into double figures and so good at the free throw line. Went 10 of 10 in her last, last game, and she's already completed two and ones today. Hawkeyes by five, thanks to a big start for Megan Gustafson, who has continued to improve since an all-freshman campaign uh, in 15-16. I remember how much I liked her just as a freshman. She had great hands, really nice touch, but now she's just added just determination and just strength and grit. She literally, she will compete. You see her directing traffic on the inside. She feels the double team, great look on the glass. Very good score at about 13 per game. And she's got four in the early going today. That gets us tied again at 16. Look at, you can see inside, it's just, <laughs> Doyle is definitely using her body. You can see Doyle going up against Harris. The song Lean On Me comes to mind. From Bill Withers, you wouldn't know anything about that. That's good music there, youngin. <laughs> Nine to shoot. Owns into the post for Stewart. Good look, but see how much Nora Kiesler changes shots in there. Stewart had a really hard time getting that shot off. It's all about hitting the offensive glass. So Iowa now with a chance to tie. Purdue will continue to lean as much as possible on the inside, making sure Gustafson doesn't even touch the ball. There she gets it. Doyle tries again. 
Way too strong that time. Down to court possession for Purdue. So Civilian gets a chance to get back into the game. And that adds another three-point scoring threat. Gustafson showing off all the different skills. Man, that lefty is loaded. 16 for the junior. We're tied again for the eighth time already. Here's Good. Keys. Great job off the ball screen. Keyes can't extend it. Here comes Gustafson running the break. Not afraid to put the ball on the floor and get it up court. Man, that's a power move. Are you kidding me? Honestly, I don't know of many players that use their bodies physically like Megan Gustafson to score the basketball. 18 points heading into the locker room for Megan Gustafson. She is eight of nine from the field today. And we're at halftime in Iowa City. She's a freshman from Canada. Now nine to shoot. Holt with the bounce, handoff inside. Farquhar can't finish. in this zone, leaning all over Gustafson in the paint every time. But, man, it doesn't stop her much. Harris has definitely had her hands full in there. She's got 20. Odin again, although still young, is still developing, and she's developing nicely as a great outside player. All guys look to break the tie. Patience offensively and then a foul. That was Kiesler with the defense. And foul, her first. Not so bad. Kiesler saying, hey, I'm getting, I'm getting some elbows and different things going on in here. It's like, welcome to Gustafson's <laughs> world. <laughs> Gustafson, by the way, with another double-double today. She leads the nation. This is her 17th. 20 points, 10 boards so far. So they're, they're holding her. They don't want her to go anywhere. There's definitely a lot going on in the key. That is Kiesler picking up her second foul on this possession. That is a big foul with the way Kiesler's been playing today. She's literally looking over at the... Wow, just gave her a third. That hurts. She literally looked over the bench several times to say, okay, well, how do you want me to play her, coach? I'm doing this, I'm doing that, what? I'm doing this, oh, my hand's up. I Okay, I'm gonna do it with my hands up this time. Okay, now, okay, I got another foul with my hands up. What do you want? A couple of the bigs for Purdue now getting into some foul trouble late in the third quarter. Well, I can tell you right now, since Farquhar has been in on, I mean, she's doing a really good job on Gustafson. I don't know if it's just by chance they haven't gone to her as much, but Farquhar has got those long arms, and she's almost fronted, three quarter as much as possible. But you see, Gustafson almost didn't get any touches. <laughs> they just waited to the end of the clock. Uh-oh, and a steal. So this could be a pivotal turnaround for Iowa. Yep. Civilian to Doyle to Stewart. Yep. And the Hawkeyes back to within one to get this crowd to their feet. A huge crowd on this Saturday afternoon at Carver Hawkeye Arena and the Boilermakers with a timeout. That's a Megan Gustafson getting going against a freshman. And I'm telling you, it's not like she's got it easy in there. I thought Farquhar was doing an outstanding job. You see, she's all over, leaning, body, trying to protect, facing, in just enough time. Soon as Megan Gustafson, you think that she's free, she figures out how to get to the basketball. Just that little bump by Doyle helped create a little bit of space. Yep. That's it. That's all Gustafson needs. Yeah, she just needs to literally touch the basketball. At that point, she becomes like just this monster. She's got such good hands. Great hands. Good inside out. McLaughlin yeah. can finish. Third How three today. How good is Carissa McLaughlin? Just when Purdue needs a little offense, she's always rough in the middle of the pack. Seems a, a little more wide open this year than a couple yeah, of years past. I agree, absolutely. Good seal on the inside from Gustafson. Of course, she's going to. It's one of those things you just go, well, she caught it, so you already know she's going. <laughs> it's all about whether she catches it or not. Just in and out. Yeah, that was close. Good ball.
ball movement by the Boilermakers, though. Now back to Gustafson. Trying to get it into her. Through the double. Oh, what God. a finish by Megan Gustafson, 26. I just refuse to say anything else. I'm just repeating myself and repeating myself. <laughs> it's like talking to my teenager. Wait, my teenager's not a teenager. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. What do you want to say? What do you what do you want to say? She makes it happen again because she's not afraid of the contact. In fact, she invites it. The more she can feel her defender, look at that rip through two defenders. The more she can feel the defender, the more determined she is to score the bucket. So good at finishing off balance too. Here she Go is again. Back to work. Oh, oh, oh. That's the moneymaker, and I don't know if it was by design, but you see, everyone forgot about Gustafson for a little while, and just when they need her, they go back to her. And now <laughs> I wrote down in my notes, that's Beef. The nickname her Beef nickname is, is really Beef. stuck. Yeah, when she was a little girl, she really, really loved Beef, and so her dad called her Beef, and it stuck. She's been Beef ever since. The double team on the inside, great kick out, perfect basketball. That's what makes Iowa so good. All right, time now for the State Farm assist of the game. Here it is. She's not just a scorer, she's an assist maker as well. Megan Gustafson. <laughs> and then she lets you know, that one was good for three. <laughs> Count it. And taking the time to execute their offense, you can't ask for more than this. You just can't. First 30-point game in Key's career. Big time three ball from the corner. Congratulations, shooter. <laughs> Gustafson trying to respond off the dime from Doyle. See, that works anytime they can isolate Gustafson on the block where she only has the one as opposed to the double. That's a good play. So much of for the talk of what defense was going to do in this game, it certainly has been a shootout of such. First Big Ten game for Purdue with more than 60 points. That's 67 and a seven point lead. Gustafson cuts into that with another off balance bucket and she'll head to the line. That's one of the problems about trying to face front. Gustafson's going to get it anyway. It's been a great job though on both ends. Odin getting a nice three point shot, a much needed one, but there's always an answer when you're talking about Iowa. They've got someone called Megan Gustafson. She's trying to get her team to win. Uh, it's a couple of the upperclassmen out of these very young teams. Both sides have a ton of underclassmen, but Gustafson, the junior, Keys, the senior, both up over 30 points, and now 33 for Megan Gustafson, who stays uh, perfect at the line today. It's all about execution here and getting a shot off quick and not fouling. See how Nora Kiesler chains that up, though. Gustafson able to finish with two seconds left. Might She's well, got 37, and that's a new career high. Might as well pad the stats. And that's it. Purdue gets the victory. They win by six, traveling to Iowa City to beat the Hawkeyes. Their second straight win over a ranked opponent, and they score.